I don't know about y'all, but I've had me some church, amen? amen. I'll tell you right now, I'm ready to go if he comes tonight, amen?
Pastor Travis, thank you so much for sharing your pulpit. Now, I'll tell you one thing. We had a time over at Bethel Baptist this morning. I don't expect God to do no less. I'm going to tell you something. I already had church with these young ladies up here on the second row. Amen. This little girl here in the, in the tie-dye, I didn't have fun with her in the hallway. I told her, bless her heart, I told her her shoe was tied, and I think she was about ready to take them off and throw them at me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, just in case you ain't figured out yet, I'm about 10 in the heart. I'm about 60-something you know, physically, but uh, I love Shut up, Joel. <laughs> You put my glasses on in case I have to hit it. Unless I know what I'm, I'm swinging at. I can see y'all now. I told that. that what's, your, what's your worship leader's name? Your worship leader, the ugly guy, the big ugly. Yeah, yeah. He come off my. Listen, he should have hit the altar early on. Because he, he come to introduce himself. And I said, I'm glad you're here. At least I wasn't the ugliest one going to be here. And he said, There's a Drew or Billy or somebody was behind him, and that ain't the boy's name. What's your name? Cameron. Yeah, Cameron, that guy. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, young man, what a blessing you are. Up here playing that fiddle. What? I tell you, amen. Give our young people a big hand. Amen. You are a blessing, young man. Is that your ugly brother playing the guitar? I thought it was. I knew that rock didn't fall far from the pile. <laughs> If it's your first time here in Mulder Clay, raise your hand. We've been singing about 10 minutes. I'm glad y'all and the preacher finally showed up. <laughs> Lee, I gotta get him when I can too, bud. I'm gonna tell you what, you got about 15 points. I'm not proud of you, bud. You're doing good. You're doing good. Listen, we're Mulder Clay. We're nobody without Christ. We are nobody. We're not here to put on a show for you. We're here to worship. Now, we're gonna have church with you or without you. Amen. It don't matter to us. Because we're going to have a time. Amen. But I'm going to tell you one thing. I'd love to have that worship leader you're singing now. They don't have to look at him. Yeah. But that boy, they're concerned. <laughs> I leaned over to Joel. I said, Amen. Is that live or is that Memorex up there? So I'm going to sing. I believe he can sing. <laughs> Come here, son. Bless his heart. These boys abuse me, and they wonder why I pick on them so much on the bus. We didn't bring the bus this week. Uh, these boys tell everybody that I abuse them. <laughs> lies, 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 and more lies. I have to get my punches in, trust me. I ain't lying. There's one out there that felt sorry for you. <laughs> Anybody recognize this guy? Well, I don't, I don't expect you young people to recognize him. Do any of you older people recognize him? Yeah, I know. You know who he is. Gilligan, for he was shipwrecked for seven years. <laughs> <laughs> I love having fun with these boys. <laughs> Breathe, boy, you're turning red face already. <laughs> no, I'll tell you one thing. He is a believer. We wasn't even looking for him. Amen. God is our witness. We were not looking for this young man. Man, he called me and he says, I need to talk to somebody with motor class. I said, well, this is Daryl. He said, well, I, I see y'all looking for a bass singer. I said, oh, what do you mean? He said, I saw him on Facebook. I said, hold on. I put my phone on hold and grabbed my wife's phone and called this one because this one's bad about going on Facebook and doing stuff. Well, he does a whole lot for me. I can't, I can't whip him too bad. So I called him. I said, Joel, when did you, when did you going to tell me you put something on Facebook about us looking for a bass singer, which we wasn't? He said, I didn't. I said, you didn't? He said, no. I said, I'll call you back. Picked up my phone. I said, uh, well, we're going to be here this particular time. Come on, sing with us. Well, God done the increase. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. This boy here is 20 years old. Loves the Lord with all his heart. Amen. And loves to sing praises Amen. to him. And he's got a tremendous talent that you've already heard, which you will hear some more of. From Monroe, North Carolina. My boy. Not really. I claim him. His mama said he was mine. Would you make welcome Drew Laney? Hey, this morning I had about 20 little, little old ladies come and said, I just love that little old face singer. And he's cute too. I think he gets proposed to everywhere we sing. Hi, I'm Johnny Cash. <laughs> I'm glad we're getting long past.
Pastor Lee, I, I thank you, sir. I thank you so much. <laughs> I believe Pastor Lee full of enough God. He can just point at me and hit me with a lightning bolt. Amen. <laughs> Imagine how much fun we're going to have when we get to heaven. Amen. This is just a taste. Listen to me. A taste. Let's get back to this guy. I refer to him as dimps. These little dimple things that poke you and he smiles. I like it when I... He, he's like a soldier, I'm telling you. He's like a little marine boy. He just stands there at ease and won't say a word. But trust me, he gets his licks in. Y'all know how preacher's kids are. <laughs> Listen, I know his daddy and mama are so super proud of him. And they have reason to be. Well, I'm telling you something. I don't know a whole lot. And this morning, the, the youth that were in Bethel and the youth that I see here at Gospel Life, listen, I applaud you. I applaud. Girls, I'm proud of y'all young ladies up here uh, lying and telling them one says she was 22 or something, looks 12. And I'm, I'm going to tell you something. That we're going to give an invitation here in a little while. But I'm going to tell you something. I love to see young people in church, and that's proof of one thing they were brought up right. Amen. 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 But this boy right here, we love him like, he, like he's our own. We love having him on the bus and traveling with us. And, and he sings his heart out. Song in and song out. And uh, we're, we're proud of him ourselves. Would you make him welcome? Uh, he's from uh, South Hill. What is the little town actually called? Uh, is there a bad word? <laughs> I thought it was Bakersville. No? Lower Virginia. <laughs> I thought he was saying a curse word. I wasn't going to repeat what he said. But I'm going to tell you something. Bakersville, whatever you want to call it, would you make welcome your very own Matthew Bain? Hey. And see, he came, he's 20 years old too. And he came by the way of Drew. And Drew told us, Thea, see, Drew told us that he could sing tenor. And I'm like, hallelujah. I ain't got spirit fingers, y'all. Give me spirit fingers. Come on. There you go. I said, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I ain't got to sing the girly part no more. And he comes and says, I said, what do you sing? He says, well, a little bit of baritone, a little bit of leaf. We're going to change jazz, so we do it. We love it. Come here, boy. Now for us old guys. Looking like all GQ. That's why I didn't like him when I met him. Look at him. Looking all prim and proper, all GQ, with his hair slicked back. Lee, you remember when we had hair? I still like to imitate him once in a while. Told some of you, I told that boy right there, I said, You ugly, but I sure would like to have your hair. And then I asked her, I said, Was he right with her? She goes, Yeah. And I said, You blind as a bat. <laughs> I don't have to tell these people to smile. They, they, they got to fix them. I think y'all's face is stuck like that. Some of you need help, amen? No, I tell you, this, this is Joel. He's a good friend of mine. Known him for a long time. I used to sing with his uncle in a, in a quartet, a uh, heritage quartet many years ago. Uncle was an awesome bass singer himself. But um, there again, I didn't do a whole lot of business with Joel. And, and God laid on my heart. Who God wanted for this ministry, I thought God know. And God, listen to me, God's got a sense of humor. He will come through with what He wants to do. Because I'm telling you the truth. I'll put my hand on a sack of Bibles to tell you I did not like Him. And He knows it. He knows I didn't like Him. But when God says do something, do it. Hello? A amen? amen? When God says, Call somebody because God's laid them on your heart. Don't wait. Call them. But anyway, I called Joel, and then we had a little bit of church. When I called him and said, Joel, I'm there. He goes, yeah, I know you are. And I said, God's laid on my heart to call you. You ever thought about singing with a group? And that's when the church erupted on the phone. He had prayed earnestly to God, begging God to present a ministry to where he could go and sing his praises for 11 years. In God's time. He came through. 
Would you make him welcome from Gastonia, North Carolina, my, my awesome friend, uh, sings Lee. Love him to death. Joel Roberts. We sound okay out there? Amen. Don't lie. I told them this morning they lied. The whole church lied and said we sounded good. Now do we sound all right? Amen. Okay, well I'll, I'll introduce the other 20 year old is with us. Uh, he's from Monroe, North Carolina. I call him Fabio. He, 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 yeah, he, he's got hair, but he won't show him with me. Y'all want to cut y'all hair? I need some of y'all's hair to, to pay something. We'll talk after the service. <laughs> but he, he's making a sound presentable. I want to I acknowledge our young people from Monroe, North Carolina. Mr. Baden Balkan. <laughs> My name is Darrell Lasseter. Hey, you just don't call us late for homecomings. Amen. <laughs> that means say amen or something. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure y'all on the page with me. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this is this is a, one of our favorite songs. We sung it this morning. If y'all don't mind listening to it again, Pastor Lee. Listen, when when one gets when one person gets saved, the angels in heaven shout. The angels are singing Amen. Listen to the words of this song. Well, lightning didn't strike and thunder didn't roll the night I asked Jesus to save my soul. Yeah. 
thank you, Lord, for that plan of salvation. I want to thank Jesus for the plan of salvation. Just to say, Lord, I love you, for you understand. sings this song, There Rose a Lamb. Yeah. It was the third 
day since he died and it was said he would arise then from the grave this lamb came forth oh I have reason to rejoice he chose the place Somewhere, 
You need to have that child in church. Right. If you would stop going to the Sunday competitions, that changed the day of competition. But it's called conforming to the world. Just like he preached on a while ago, we need to be the fireballs for Christ. We, we should be able to walk out that door and not even need headlights to drive home. We should be on fire for God that much. Like I said, people think I'm crazy. You ain't seen nothing like till I get to heaven. St. Peter's done talked God out of three times taking me out of here. And I, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm just crazy enough to believe every word that's in God's word. Amen. This morning, I, I tell you, we, we don't like to boast or brag, but I'm going to tell you something. That little baby, I cannot remember her name. Willow. Little Willow, that's right. I went out to use restroom, and as I came out, they were talking about this little girl. How old are you, Willow? He was right, Joel. I got a six-year-old granddaughter that lives with me. And to look up through that aisle, through, this, through the sanctuary of the church, and here's this grandmother that was holding this child. And you could tell the child had been sick, battling something. I mean, she was a little skinny. Bless her heart. It just tears my I'd rather hurt, I'd rather be sick than a child. And to look up there to hear what that child's been through. You know, many times we wonder, why, God? Why do you let a child go through that? Put that on a grown adult. Let me, let me bear that burden. You know, the Bible tells us that we should bear one another's burdens. How many of us really do? But this morning, I'm going to tell you something. They took up an offering for that baby and her family. I just walked to the pastor. I said, look here, what, what if we sell off the table? We give it to her. We give it to their family. Listen, church, it's all about God. We need to move us out of the way. We need to get us out. Listen, it ain't about molded clay. It's just like this, this pottery down here. It says it all. This says it all. Joel, I want you to be ready to sing that song. Church, this is us. Not molded clay. I'm talking about as a Christian. This is this is we're broken. Amen. We're broken. Is there anyone here that can honestly say you've never been broken? If you've never been broken, you need to come over here and hit this altar. Amen. But I'm gonna tell you something. One thing that we can do is take our brokenness. God's Word tells us, kneel at the cross. Christ will meet you there. He tells us to cast off. He says cast. He didn't say bring them. Now, I, I like to pick at the supper table. Somebody says, hey, take me a biscuit. I'm throwing you a biscuit. <laughs> he didn't say, come and bring your burdens and just lay them over here. He said, cast your cares. Cast your burdens upon me. You see, I try to have a good day every day. I really do. Do you think I'm crazy? Oh, you tell a story in church. <laughs> Listen, I want people to think I never have a bad day. I do have bad days. I do have bad days. I'm human. Am I, am I flesh? Am I flesh? I'm, I'm flesh, right? So I ain't no better than you, all right? I ain't as pretty as you are either. Yeah. But listen, we're all flesh here. We're all failures in the sight of God. Yeah. But I'm so thankful that in my craziness, in my brokenness, in my sin, I'm thankful He forgives. Amen. I'm glad I serve a God of many chances. Amen. But listen, this right here is the magic. The magic's in the middle, Pastor Travis. Thanks to the cross of Calvary, Brother Lee, we're made whole. I pray that Willow will be healed directly from the throne of God. 
to where she can go out and proclaim what God has done for her. I'm sure we've got miracles all over this sanctuary. I believe we've got walking, talking miracles in this sanctuary that we're in right now. Amen. But I believe we didn't play the Barney Five and tick a lot. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. I got saved at 10, but October the 26th of 1987, a car, I was on a motorcycle, and a car pulled out in front of me. I was doing 60 miles an hour, and I T-boned the car. This foot was hanging on by skin. Tendons, ligaments, muscles, bone ripped. Look worse in his face. I went down the asphalt about 100 feet. Full face helmet ripped off my head in splinters. I had on a windbreaker jacket, a polo shirt, a pair of slacks. Would you believe there was not a torn place in my slacks? Would you believe there was not one asphalt burn on my body? And the only thing broke on me was my leg and skin was holding my foot on. Would you believe I still did not praise God? Amen. Would you believe I still did not thank Amen. God? But I heard a voice. I can't describe it. But all I heard was not yet. I wasn't even living for the Lord. But God spared my life. And in 2001, He got my attention. <laughs> Listen, I don't know how many of y'all cinder block heads are up in here, but I'm going to tell you something. My head about as hard as that asphalt is this floor right here. A lot of times, God got to shut me up to get my attention. Any hard heads like me in here? Amen. I know, they're all over the place. But I'm going to tell you something. Don't be a hard head. You're broken. If you're broken tonight, I don't know what you need. Pastor Travis, will you come up? Brother Lee, I'm going to ask you if you'll come up on this side of the table. Listen, I believe God, and I still believe God's going to do something in here tonight. I believe the Holy Spirit's dealing with hearts. If you're a Christian, I believe the Holy Spirit's dealing with you, as Pastor Benton said, to get on fire for Him. I believe there's Christians all over this place that have asked Christ to be their Savior at one point in time in your life. But I pray that everyone that is in this building has at one point in time asked Jesus to be your Savior. The thing about it is, and I'll tell you, listen, don't be fooled. Do not be deceived. Because some, I believe somebody in here's grandma told her you got saved, but you don't remember. You know, my mama told me, my papa took me to church when I was little, growing up all the time. But I didn't need my papa to tell me that I got saved. I know beyond a shadow of doubt because I remember. I remember when I knelt at an old fashioned altar. Matter of fact, it was Gospel Light Baptist Church in Walkertown, North Carolina. Where I got saved. Amen. Under Pastor Bobby Robertson. At 10 years old. When I knelt at that old sanctuary on the right side. I walked down on a Sunday night. And asked Jesus to be my Savior. See I don't need grandma to tell me. I don't need mom and daddy to tell me. Hey I, you're okay. You're okay. You got saved when you was very young. If you don't remember. If you don't remember being saved. Are you? That's between you and the Lord. We're going to sing this song. You didn't throw the clay away. Listen, God didn't throw my clay away. I'm thankful that He spared my clay. I'm glad He put my clay back together where I could serve Him. I give Him glory for that. And I'm going to shout His praises until He either comes back and gets me or Jesus comes again. The devil stole 30 years from me. But I know one thing. He might win your battles. He might be beating you in a battle. He might be beating you in a fight tonight. But you can look at him and say, you've lost the war. Amen. As we all stand all over this place tonight, you need prayer tonight, please come. 
Please come. If you'll stand with us, the altar's open. He didn't throw our clay away. I don't know what you need tonight, but please bring your burden to the altar. Pray about it. Release your burden. Empty and broken, I came back to him. A vessel unworthy and so scarred to sin. But he did not despair. He started over again. And I bless the day he didn't throw my plate away.
And so, <laughs> ten ten thousand dollar minimum. Uh, no, but if they need to write a check, can they write it directly to you, or you have to write it to the church when write one check to you? How do you like it? Like that? You can write it to Moldy Clay if you want to, but you can write it to the church, and we'll write a check to them. And do you got a table out there too of stuff? I think go back there. Do you? Me like a I'm, try, I'm trying to help sell your stuff. They got a table out there. Avoid it. Go out the other door. <laughs> you know, support their table too. So I, I know they'd appreciate that so much. And uh, it was a wonderful night tonight. They won't, we're going to pray and ask God's blessing on the offering. And uh, I just don't know about that. I tried to say nice stuff, but. <laughs> Let's pray, and we'll ask God's blessing. Then they're going to sing, and we'll be dismissed after that. Okay. Lord, we love you tonight. We're just so thankful to, just to worship you tonight, Lord, for the Word of God that was preached, and just for the, through the Word of God that was sung, that was sung, the songs that were sung tonight, Lord. Just such a blessing to be in your house tonight, Lord. And we thank you, God, for each person that was in here tonight, Lord. And I pray, God, if there's somebody still with us that didn't get their heart right with you, Father, they not leave this building, they not leave this this premises, Lord, that they would... Uh, you, you just work on their hearts, Father, and bring them back. Let, us, let somebody talk to them, pray with them, and show them from the Word of God how they can, they can know you as their personal Savior. Lord, just continue to work in hearts. Bless Molded Clay, Father. Bless them tonight as they travel back home. Watch over, protect them, Lord. Keep them safe. Just, um, just, just, just let them continue in their ministry to keep going forward and just sharing the gospel and uh, through the song. And just a blessing that they are to us, Lord. I just pray you continue. Let them keep traveling and just... Uh, use them, Lord, and mightily. Let them see souls saved and, and lives changed through, through their ministry. And we'll give you the honor, the glory, and the praise for it all. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Yeah.